Hi everyone, this is your boss mom V and I create videos about work from home tips, freelancing lifestyle and make money online tips. So if you're interested with this topic, just keep on watching. In today's video, we're going to talk about yung basic virtual assistant task na pwede mong matutunan at malaman as a newbie or beginner virtual assistant. And this is Canva Design and Social Media Management. So if ready ka na, then let's begin. First, here we are in Canva. So if you don't know Canva, Canva is like a tool or an app that you can use to create graphic designs. So ito yung karanasang ginagamit ng mga freelancers, business owners, and even individuals to create graphic contents. No? Pwede ka rin dito mag video editing. So yung mga uh, gagawin mga picture posts sa uh, mga social media mo, even brand logos and stuff like that, is pwede mong magawa sa free tool na to. So, just go to canva.com and meron din siyang app, no? So, you can download the app Canva and if this is your first time, ito yung itsura niya, you just need to sign up. It's free lang naman. Meron siyang free version, meron din uh, pro or yung paid version. So, here, makikita mo dito sa taas, Ayan, yung mga pwede mong gawin sa mga visual documents, photos and videos, prints like business cards, cards, invitations. So, halos lahat ng klase ng pwede mong ma-design na graphic contents. Even logos, posters, flyers, and even video editing is pwede mo rin magawa sa Canva tool. So, ikaw, if beginner virtual assistant ka, uh, pwede mo na itong aralin no, or laruin. So, that ma-familiarize ka sa tool na to kasi isa to sa mga common na ginagamit ng mga freelancers or virtual assistant to help their client with regards to graphic contents. And you don't need to be an expert, no, para matutunan to dahil napakadali lang niya. In fact, uh, friendly. Friendly tong tool na to and kahit ako hindi ako ganun ka-creative. Basta when I use um, this tool, Canva, parang feeling pro ka na din, no? Kasi basic lang naman siya. So, yung template is nandiyan dyan na, ang gagawin mo na lang is uh, that i-edit mo yung some letterings kung gusto mo, uh, magdadagdag ka ng photos and stuff like that. So, here, kunyari, um, sabi ng client mo is gumawa ka ng Instagram picture post, no? To post for his Instagram. Um, then, usually, bibigyan ka naman niya ng idea ng client kung ano yung ipopost mo. Kunyari, gusto niya, um, bigyan mo siya ng post about motivational posts. So, clinic mo yung kanina tong Instagram post. So, ano dito naman siya lahat. Makikita mo, may flyer, Facebook cover, mobile video, business card. So, ano dyan na lahat ng klase ng templates na pwede mong gamitin. So, for this one, we're going to use yung Instagram post. And here sa gilid is yung mga free templates. Yung mga may crown na yan, pro yan. So, paid version yan. So, kung may paid version naman si client, is ipapagamit lang naman niya yung account niya or i-add ka niya doon sa kanyang Canva. For this one, is free version lang yung gagamitin natin. For example, gusto niya is motivation quotes. Pwede kang uh, mag-type dito sa search bar, motivation quotes, like that. So, here, uh, as you can see, hindi mo na iisipin kung ano yung design na gagawin mo for the quotes. Because dito is free template, free na yung mga templates. And all you need to do is to uh, edit some things. No? Hindi mo naman syempre ikakopy literally yan. So, kunyari ito, sabi ni client mo is, i-create mo siya ng motivation quote for a Monday post. Kunyari here, uh, self-confidence is superpower once you start believing yourself. And here, pwede mong ilagay dito yung client mo. Kunyari, ang pangalan ng uh, client mo is Lisa Smith. Yan. So, yan yung parang pinaka-branding niya. So, sasabihan ka naman yan or bibigyan ka ng instructions ng client mo kung ano yung klaseng theme ang pwede mong i-post. Kung gusto niya, lagyan mo ng branding here, ng logo niya, pwede rin. So, to upload uh, a photo, a photo uh, just click on upload here and mag-upload ka ng files na yung gusto mong idagdag. Uh, kung nga, this one, i-upload mo lang dyan. And pwede rin videos. Pwede ring audio. So, i-upload mo lang yan. And once na-upload mo na, pwede mong ilagay here. And this is just an example, no? Uh, yan, yan. So, i-drag and drop mo lang naman. So, napakadali lang yan. So, you don't need to be an expert kasi madali lang siya. And, 
pwedeng dito is kung ano yung nakita mo sa chat GPT or sa Google or kung meron man siyang list na ng mga quotes is pwede mo rin i-copy paste here and then you just click on share and then click on download. Ayan, pwede mong piliin yung file type kung PNG, JPG, PDF, so it's up to you. For this one is, common one is yung PNG and then just click on download. And then pag nag-download na siya, pwede mo na siya i-post dun sa Instagram account ng client mo. Ang na pwede mong gawin sa Canva is video editing or mag-edit ka ng video. So, kahit hindi ka expert, is kayang-kaya mo siyang gawin using this tool. So, click mo lang yung video kung ano yung preference. Meron din ditong uh, mobile version. Like yan. Uh, parang, ano uh, siya, horizontal. So, ito best to sa mga Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, and TikTok. So, kanyari is, sabi ng client mo is gawin mo siya ng short Reels about Uh, na ipopost na sa TikTok niya, pwede kang gumawa ng dito. Meron naman template sa gilid. So, kung merong short video si client mo, ibigay niya yan sa'yo, ipapa-upload niya. And then, kunyari ito yung video niya. Ayan. So, basically, ayan, pwede mong palitan yung fonts. Like here, ito yung fonts niya. Pwede mong palitan ito. Ayan. So, mamimili ka lang. It's up to you. Bas, yung mga free version, meron din paid version, pwede mong palakihin. Paliitin, ibahin yung text color. Ayan, so ayan. So, madali lang siya. Lagyan ng effects yung lettering. Pwede rin ito, click mo lang yung effects. Uh, pwede ito, ayan. Ito, ayan. So, madali lang siya. And then, pwede rin yung positions. Pwede mong palitan. So, bahala ka na kung ano yung gusto mong Uh, gawin animate, pwede rin gawin siya ng animation like that. This one. See? So, madali lang siya. It's, it, it, it click mo lang yung gusto mo or your preference mo na gawin. Um, here, kung nari ulit. Ayan. So, lalagyan ko nari na click the LinkedIn bio. Ganyan. And then, pwede mo lag lagyan siya ng background music. Punta ka lang dito sa uploads. And then, here sa audio. Pwede kang mag-upload ng audio galing sa kanya. For example, this one. So, mayroon na siyang background audio. And then, just... And then, pwede mo na siyang i-download 15 seconds na video lang yan. So, pwede, pwede siya sa Reels and TikTok and Facebook or Instagram Reels. And then, ita-download mo lang siya as MP4 video. And that's it. And then, pwede mo na itong i-upload sa TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook ng client mo. As you can see, hindi naman siya ganun kahirap. You don't need to be an expert para tulungan yung client mo sa mga gantong klase ng basic video editing, uh, photo editing using Canva. So, madali lang siya. All you need to do is aralin. Uh, punta ka na ngayon sa Canva at aralin mo na to basic video editing, basic photo editing, and pwede mo na itong gawing service at i-offer sa client mo to help your client with his graphic contents for social media posts. And, and on the next part of the video is yung basic social media naman, which is may kinalaman din using the Canva. So, yeah. Okay, so the next basic virtual assistant service na pwede mong i-offer sa clients sa beginner virtual assistant is the basic social media management. So, basically, you are just uh, managing the social media accounts of your clients uh, to do basic tasks like uh, posting, scheduling of posts, engaging to his followers, uh, replying to their messages or DMs, PMs. So, ito yung mga basic things na wala nang time yung client na gawin. So, ginagawa nila is kumukuha sila ng virtual assistant to do that task for them. So, so for example, sa uh, meron siyang Facebook account si client or Facebook page or Instagram page and then gusto niya i-manage mo yun, no? like magpo-post ka doon uh, every day or every other day ng, ng mga quotes or something valuable contents no? para maging active yung kanyang social media pages. So, you as a virtual assistant, of course, um, kailangan, kahit pa na maging creative ka and yung mga creativity ng post is magagamit po yung Canva, which is yung inaral natin kanina, is gagamitin mo lang yung Canva to create graphic posts, um, basic video editing for his reels, Facebook reels, and stuff like that. So, kunyari sabi ng client mo, in-add ka sa Facebook, in-add ka niya as admin para to do the uh, 
uh, regular posting for him, kunyari, sabi ng client mo, can you do, do me a uh, one picture per day uh, about life quotes, gano'n. So, hahanap ka ng life quotes using ChatGPT. If you don't know ChatGPT, it's like an AI tool na pwede dito maha, dito, utusan mo yung tool na mag-create ng something for you or bigyan ka ng sagot mo sa hinahanap. For this one, just go to chat.openai.com and I already have a uh, video about this. Uh, pwede mong i-check yung uh, previous video natin na uh, basic admin task is kasama din to doon. Just hanapin mo lang siya dito sa ating channel. So, go to chat.openai.com and then here, utusan mo itong tool na mag-create siya yung something like uh, Pwede mong sabihin, give me short posts about life motivation. Ayan. So, so bibigyan, bibigyan ng tool na to yung uh, hinahanap mo. Like this one, ito daw. So, pwede mo i-copy-paste yan. Pwede mo i-edit. Uh, of course, you don't want naman na literally i-copy-paste lahat. And then, or pwede rin, give me five lists of uh, live quotes. Pwede rin ganyan. So, bibigyan ka ng sagot ni chat GPT. So, ito yung lang yung magbibigay ng idea sa'yo. Kung wala namang binigay sa'yo si client ng mga, meron din kasi silang mga quotes na ibibigay na lang sa'yo through chat or email or sa documents, sa Google Documents. Uh, pag wala naman, sabi niya, uh, just uh, find me something over the internet for about quotes uh, to post on my Facebook page or Instagram page. So, yan. So, kunyari ito, the only way to do is Yan, tapos nagagamit ka ng Canva ulit to create for an Instagram post or Facebook post. And then sa motivational posts, here, and then click mo here, to paste mo dyan, for example. Ayan, so kunyari, ganyan, ganyan kasi ito yung gagawin mo na quotes. And then, of course, ito download mo and then i-upload mo ngayon dito sa Facebook niya. Uh, just a normal uh, posting uh, like na ginagawa mo sa Facebook page mo or sa Instagram mo. For sure, marunong kang gumamit ng Instagram and Facebook ng sarili mong account. So, basically, ganun din. Ang kaibayan nga lang is that kagamitin mo yung account ng client mo or i-add ka niya as admin to do the basic postings for him. Kunyari, sabi naman niya is mag-react ka dun sa mga followers niya. Kunyari, may nag-comment sa isang uh, picture niya. And then, ang gagawin mo lang is mag-engage lang dun. Kunyari, may nag-comment dyan. Re-reply mo lang yung comment nung follower niya. Uh, kung mag engagement yung mangyayari. And kung pag may nag-message naman is, i-click mo lang din yung message dun sa Facebook or Instagram. For example, here, may, may, may nag-message sa'yo and stuff like that. And then, uh, mag engage ka lang sa uh, followers niya. So, yun lang yung basic things na gagawin mo as a virtual assistant to do basic social media management. No? Mag-create ka or mag-post ka ng contents on behalf of your client. mag engage ka sa followers uh, by liking also, sharing and commenting and stuff like that. So, these things are just basic and you don't need to be an expert. At kaya kaya mo siyang gawin at kaya kaya mo na siyang i-offer sa client. Your friend, you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never say